Welcome to The Grid. I'm Cassidy. Today's top headlines are as follows. South Korea tests kamikaze drone launch from helicopter. France flies new spy plane amid critical capability shortfall. Turkey's Cyper long-range missile completes serial production testing. India may buy South Korea's KF-21 fighter jet. And Israel tests the upgraded David Sling missile defense system. On August 4, 2025, South Korea's Second Operational Command demonstrated launching an FPV kamikaze drone from a KUH-1 Suryon helicopter, successfully intercepting an airborne RC MAT target drone mid-flight. The exercise validated procedures for mid-air deployment and remote strike under realistic conditions, highlighting the tactical advantage of airborne loitering munitions against enemy UAVs and rotary wing threats. France's Direction Générale de l'Armament announced the first flight of the Archange SIGINT platform, marking the start of serial deliveries to replace the retired C-160G Gabriel fleet. Built on a modified Dassault Falcon 8X and outfitted with Thales's CUGE sensor suite, Archange boasts two to three times the range and endurance of the Gabriel, plus AI-enhanced signal processing at altitudes up to 15,500 meters. However, only three aircraft are planned by 2030, resulting in an interim capability shortfall that Paris currently mitigates with drones, maritime patrol planes, and satellites. Turkey's Defense Industry Agency announced that the Cyper High Altitude Interceptor successfully passed its serial production acceptance tests, clearing the final hurdle for integration into the Turkish Armed Forces Steel Dome Network. Cyper now covers the uppermost layer, engaging targets beyond 100 km altitude with precision guidance and networked command and control. Developed by Aselsan, Roketsan, and Tubatok Sage, this milestone cements Turkey's goal of a gapless, fully indigenous air defense umbrella. According to reports on August 1, 2025, India's air staff has begun preliminary evaluations of South Korea's KF-21 Boramai under its multi-role fighter aircraft program, aiming to address a looming squadron shortfall. With twin GE F414 engines, common to both the KF-21 and India's Tejas Mk2, plus an AESA radar, IRST, and open architecture avionics, Delhi sees potential for streamlined logistics and local co-production under Make in India. However, no formal request for information has yet been issued, and New Delhi continues parallel talks with Western OEMs. Israeli Ministry of Defense announced that David Sling completed a series of developmental live fire tests, validating advanced hardware and software upgrades co-developed with the U.S. Missile Defense Agency and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. The upgrades include a refined seeker head for improved target discrimination, enhanced signal processing algorithms, and higher launch cadence, significantly boosting the system's ability to counter salvo attacks of cruise missiles, drones, and tactical ballistic threats. These tests mark another leap in Israel's multi-layered shield alongside Iron Dome and Arrow. That's a wrap on today's top global defense news. For more in-depth analysis, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm Cassidy on The Grid. Stay sharp, stay informed. See you in the next update.